Kiss FM HD2, the new music show with DJ Ski. Ski, tonight we have a very special go- show. We got a couple guests in the building. Who, who, who we have in the building? You got royalty. Royalty. Got Princess <laughs> Estelle. Princess um, Estelle. Prince a- Travi from Gym Class Hero. Uh, exactly. So. What brings you? What brings you two together? It's quite an interesting combination, both because you guys, <laughs> <laughs> you guys are actually a good combination because you're both kind of don't really fit categories. You're not really yes. hip hop, R and B, rock, but you all kind of the best category to be in is right. none. Starting with you, Estelle. What would you say your influences are? Everything. Like, I, Everything. I hate being. I really. I have ADD. I think. Yeah. I really believe that. Like with music, I yeah. can't listen to like one genre for more than like ten to fifteen minutes. I promise you. Uh, no, you get really not. irritated. Exactly. Like I'll turn it up for something else. Like <laughs> so, I think that kind of flows into my music as well. Plus, I grew up around a lot of different styles. Like you know, in growing up in London, you listen yep. to like Rick Astley down to Dennis Brown, exactly. over to some Mighty Sparrow soca, and my mum was into reggae, and it's just everything and African yeah. music, it's just all at once. All we, the only thing I knew was that it was good music. You know exactly. what was good and what was rubbish. I came up in a pretty musical. Uh, household. My dad was a bass player. Mm-hmm. You know, um, I played drums in the church for a little bit when I was younger. Um, my mom was kind. Of, she was into like Sade and Tina Marie, but she was also into like Poison and White Snake. Yeah. So it was, it was, it was crazy. Like uh, in my household coming up, but um, then I had uncles that were like metalheads. But then I had my dad's brothers who were like break dancers. You know what I'm saying? So it was just like this crazy like amalgamation of all mm-hmm. different types of music and I, I guess it, it definitely had, it played a big role in building so speaking about you guys coming together let's talk about let's talk about this new single it's off your album yeah, features yeah. Estelle what's it called yeah. Guilty as Charged and Estelle how'd you how'd you hook up what, what'd you, what were your thoughts of Gym Class Heroes and how, how'd you guys all merge and get together I'd heard of them before mm-hmm. just generally about underground buzzing and whatnot. Yeah. and then I was like oh that's that group when I saw the mm-hmm. single I was like that's that them boys yeah. and then I saw the video and I was like oh no I definitely with these guys what's the whole concept of the uh, video the video um it's it's i heard it's gonna be crazy yeah yeah it's crazy. We're, we're, it's, we're doing a little throwback you know to, to like the whole melvin van people's era era <laughs> you know what i'm saying uh-huh. um black exploitation black exploitation you know like foxy, foxy brown, brown yeah. wow. cleopatra jones mm-hmm. shaft yep. shaft in africa <laughs> all that you know like the scratchy film yep. vibe you know all the yep. the ugly colors that the 70s offered like the yellows and browns <laughs> Mauve and oranges and, and teal and yeah, yeah, yeah. the yes. album the quilt what's the what's the quilt mean travis um basically you know if you listen to the record all the way through um you'll see that there's not one song on the record that that sounds like another song. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I think each song kind of has its own personality and its own identity. Yeah. How is it working being a band where it's not just you as an artist and singer when you get different producers and stuff? What's it like working with like people like Cool and Dre and bringing yeah, yeah. them in the mix? Like how, how do you guys? A lot. When we work with producers, it's um, uh-huh. we kind of want you know like if, especially you know like we we only work with producers that we're into you know yeah. Like, so we we want their touch mm-hmm. on our record, but also put our touch on you know so like what we'll do like when we're for instance when we work with cool and dre cool and dre you know like they come up with a beat or something and yeah. we take the skeletal frame of it and yeah. then, you know work live live instruments around it yep. you know what i'm saying so it's a it's That's a great. bit of us because a, a lot of people might not know john legend actually what, what's your relationship with him, with him? Hey, i'm actually signed to his label homeschool okay. records i met him six years ago in roscoe's in wow. l.a and Roscoe. Yeah, what's this story? I, I heard a little about the story. <laughs> yeah, what happened? So you just walked up to him? Oh, no, uh, Kanye was there, and Kanye came outside, uh-huh. and I walked up to him, like, I'm a big fan of you, but I want to hear, jo- I want to speak to John Legend. He was wow. Like, but he, listen, this was before Kanye was wow. Kanye. So, uh-huh. but it was, you know, I heard his voice on a mixtape, yeah. and I liked it, and I was like, I have to work with this guy, I don't yeah. care. You know, yep. he's, he's this something, I had a feeling. Yep. A lot of my career decisions are based off of real intuition and feeling, you know? This is definitely <laughs> way left field, but, yeah. but me and the uh-huh. Jesus, uh, yeah. we're thinking about put, making a uh, making a website called bidetface.com. Uh-huh. Bidetface? Yeah, it's for, you take a oh, picture yeah? of, of, a, of the person's face the first time they ever use a bidet, you know? <laughs> wow, <laughs> yes. I've never, have you guys, have you used one, Trav? I love them. I've, my, I've seen them. I've, I've, I've gone close, yeah, but I've true. never Japan, made. Like you can I've never the made the switch. Like, what about you? What do you, what do you think about it? You feel fresh, man. So uh, see, uh, I, I've never tried it. The first time I tried a bidet, the first time I used one was actually in Senegal. Mm-hmm. Wow. Like that's weird. Are you that's a bidet crazy. person? You enjoy bidet? I don't mind them. I don't Shit, mind I was them. In the for Forty-five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, when you were vomiting. Really? See, I've never tried it. I might have to make the plunge. That's interesting. Yeah, they had one at Senegal, too. I wouldn't think. <laughs> you think. Right. still fresh, man. Like, oh. Still clean. Anyways, that's what it is. We can, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not Dirty. whatever. We're going to go try the bouvet out right now. We out of time right now. HD2 new thank DJ thank Ski. Thank God, hey. Thanks for the Gym Class Heroes new album. The Quilt in stores now. with Stale Shine, obviously, out right now. No problem. Thank you guys, man. We're going to be back soon. HD2 new. See y'all next week.